Hi, I'm Steve Duval from Thor Motor Coach. Let's hop in the Wayback Machine and go back to when we were little and we went camping with our parents. Remember that? They always stayed in the nice, maybe it was a pop-up, maybe it was some sort of motor home, travel trailer, and we were in the tent. Remember that? You're sleeping in the tent, it's raining, it's not comfortable. Well, maybe you want to pass on the love of travel and the love of exploring to your family. Spend time with your kids, but you're not sleeping in no tent. Have we got the motor home for you? We are in it. This is the Four Winds 28A. Here's what I love about this. No slide wall. It's easy to set up. It's easy to drive and it is fully loaded. So let's start our tour, all right? So as we start our tour, our family campers, right? We are the families that love to go exploring. Or maybe you're a casual camper and you like to get out, go places, pick up and just go, setting up so easy with the 28A because this is it. Look at this, you have a lot of room, no slide walls again, so you can get everywhere you need to go, whether it's the kitchen, whether you need to get in this great split bath that we'll talk about, maybe it's the bedroom, north-south bed, by the way, which is one of my favorites. Starting up front, turning our attention to the Dream Dinette. This is a 70-inch Dream Dinette. You have child safety tether right here, so if you are traveling with real little, little ones, you want to start them out on the road early, you can make sure they are safe right here. Love the versatility of the Dream Dinette. You can sit here, you can have meals, you can play games. There's a TV up over front, so you, maybe you can sit here, you can have family movie night on a night that it is raining. This also makes into a bed. Handle right underneath. All you have to do is take, turn the handle. You'd move these cushions, you push this down so it's flush, then you would slide these cushions over, and now you have a place to sleep. The Dream Dinette, there are seat belts in here for the ride, and then you simply lock it into place. The other thing I love about this floor plan is look at the size of these windows. So much natural light coming in. And look at this decor. This is a new decor for 2023. This is our weathered cherry wood. And this is the Venice stone decor. We have another option for you too. You've seen it before. It, it looks great. It's the home collection. This is the home collection, this nice, white cabinetry here. I love the look of the home collection. Those are your decor choices for 2023. Let's turn our attention to the sofa here. All right, so again, another great place to maybe you're gonna sit and read a book. You can always move the book to over here. You sit down, you're having a conversation. That's what's great about the opposing seating is you can have family members here, you can have family members here, you can kick back. You can again watch the TV that is over the bunk here. And if you wanna make this into a bed, you most certainly can. This is a 68 inch sofa, jackknife sofa, into a bed just like that. In the morning, simply put it right back into place and you don't wanna, you don't wanna lose whoever's page that was. You go ahead and put that right back. So Dream Dinette, sofa, overhead bunk, over the cab bunk, 800 pound capacity love the over the cab bunk remember if you were if you have had the experience of traveling in a class c motorhome the fun that you had up there well times have certainly changed since you went camping as a child let's talk about entertainment we've mentioned the tv a couple of times let's just show you some nice video of this tv located right up here so you can see this from the dinette you can see it from the sofa in this cabinet right here, you do have an HDMI switcher. You have an HDMI cable. So if you wanna hook up a gaming console, if you wanna hook up a streaming device, you can plug that in right there and route that to the TV. And what's great about whether it's a streaming device or maybe you know on, on the Xbox, which you play video games and they have all the apps downloaded if you wanna binge watch a show, if you have internet while you're traveling, you can do whatever you need to do. Keep the kids entertained on those long road trips easy with the Weingar Connect 2.0 4G hotspot and Wi-Fi extender. You can use a data plan through Weingard. You can use your own carrier, get a data plan, insert the SIM card up top on the roof. Now you have your own hotspot. You can also use it as a Wi-Fi extender. So when you are 
at the campgrounds, or maybe you're boondocking somewhere and there's a place just out of reach while with the wine guard, that'll pull in those signals. And then you can take in, when you have set your password and the security measures you want through wine guard, you can use that on the Wi-Fi extender as well. So internet, as you are traveling down the road, or maybe uh, you're a casual camper, and you just get out every now and then and you like to take photos of what you've seen or maybe that's just a hobby and you like to post those on the social media sites go ahead take your photos sit down at the dinette and post away with the wine guard a couple other features i do want to talk about with the overhead bunk now this is going to be 52 by 96 so it is quite large again you have the 800 pound capacity over here on this side over here on the campsite you have two SUB usb ports with a net so you can keep your devices charged. You have an easy to store ladder that stores in the closet in the back and that just right into the hooks and you set that up and then it collapses and it is real easy to store. So no big bulky ladders, a lot of good times in the overhead bunk and you can take and you can pull this curtain all the way across here. You got uh, one on this side and another over here and then you take and now completely completely private the kids are up there they're laughing they're having a good time and you're in the bedroom telling them to quiet it's getting late let's get some sleep because we have a big adventure in the morning then when you wake up in the morning you can just store that sleeping bag you know what you got my unicorn sleeping bag this is yeah it's mine you sleep in you sleep in what you want go ahead put that away you tuck that in there but look at all the storage you have in here just so much space for everything you could ever want on a trip and you think the storage in here is impressive wait until we show you the storage outside spoiler alert this 28a has the most storage of any four winds in the entire four winds lineup impressive so large cabinets here we do have vinyl flooring our residential vinyl flooring this stuff is going to take and be completely durable easy to clean use a swiffer use a broom and i do want to point out as i am looking at it right here if you would ever blow a fuse in this motorhome right under the dinette is your fuse box you open that up you have 12 volt and you have your uh 110 breakers like you would find in your home. So much like your automotive, the 12 volt in your home all in there. If you would have to reset or replace a fuse, you do it right under the dinette in this 28A. We always make that accessible for you in all of our motor homes. That way it is easy to get to in the event you need it. A couple other things I wanna point out. You do have speakers over the couch. You have a speaker over the dinette and that is controlled up front. You do have a brand new radio for 2023 we will show you and you can take and direct the sound to these speakers so you can take and share your playlist with your kids because kids love parents playlists, right? No, no, not, not at all. Let's get into the kitchen. I love the kitchen because it is huge, right? The storage, again, plenty of storage. You have one, two, three adjustable shelves here. You have a shelf right up here over the microwave. You have a large cabinet down below. You have one, two, three drawers here. And right above, I just want to talk about real quick your control panel here because this has a lot of features you are going to want to be aware of when you're camping. You can start and stop your generator from here in the event you would get, uh, I like to say, janky juice. You know, you plug in and maybe there's a surge at the campsite. If you do have a fault in the shore power, there is a light that goes on right here. That way you're not going to blow any circuits. But if something would happen, you know how to reset those. Right over here, you do have uh, a number of buttons and lights. And what these are going to do is show you some important information, such as your battery levels. You hit battery, now you can see your battery. Is it full? Does it need charging? Is it charging? And then you also can check the amount of propane in your tank, the amount of fresh water, the amount of black water, and the amount of gray water. So you know when you have to go out and drain your tanks, and we'll do that here in just a little bit. You can turn your water pump on from here, and remember when your water pump is on, you're pulling water out of your fresh water tank. You do not need to run your water pump when you are plugged into the campsite. When you're hooked up to city water, we'll show you how to do that. And then you turn your water heater on from here. You have gas and you have electric. You are always going to want your gas on for hot 
water. It's a six gallon hot water tank. Turn your gas on and then when you are plugged into shore power, you can go ahead and you can turn the 110 on but your propane is going to be your primary source of heat for your water heater. If you try to heat it with the 110, you will be in for some cold, cold showers. So we're back up to the kitchen. We do have under here another cover for the sink, so you can put that on there if you would need more room. Large, large sink here. You do have this nice faucet with the pull-down sprayer. Plenty of room up here for you have the soaps and the cookbook. And then we have a couple of options for you. You can choose what suits you best. Right now, the way the 28A is set up that we are in, you have the microwave, you have the three burner gas cooktop, and down below, this is gonna be storage. So you can put whatever you need in here, maybe pots and pans. Well, maybe you want an oven. You can option in the three burner gas cooktop and an oven. Or maybe you don't want a standard microwave, maybe you want a convection microwave. You can option in a convection microwave as well. So you can set it up to suit your needs, your lifestyle, and how you cook and prepare meals in your four winds. You also have this nice uh, hood light, you have a fan up here. So when you're cooking that bacon, right? Just let those bacon smells get sucked up and make everyone in the campsite jealous. So beautiful, beautiful entry steps. Over here, we do have our double door fridge. You have your freezer, you have uh, your fridge down here, on and off switch, and then you have your gas and your auto. Go ahead, keep it on auto. That way it knows whether or not to run off of your propane tank, which we will turn on when we go outside, or if it will run off of 110 when we are plugged into shore power. Another cabinet right up above, huge, deep, large, large storage. You do have vents up here as well. Switch right here, we'll turn those on and you do have lids so you can go ahead and get some fresh airflow. As we work our way back, split bath in the 28A. Over here we have our shower. And this is a 24 by 32 shower and we have our shower miser. So what is the shower miser? We talked about saving water, hot water, right? Because we're gonna turn on our propane. Well, with the shower miser, in the shower, there is a handle next to this blue pipe. If that handle is turned, then what happens is the water just starts to recirculate and get hot, and it just kind of keeps going around until this pipe turns kind of like a bluish white. When it does, you know the water is hot. You go ahead and you crack the valve. Now you have hot water, and you didn't fill up your gray tank with a bunch of cold water. So that's a great feature to have it. It's called the shower miser. And on the other side of your shower, and this is a, a nice setup too. So when you want a lot of space, so maybe you're, someone's using the shower, maybe someone's using the bathroom. If you open the door, all right, so that clicks into place with the magnet. Now you have this beautiful, beautiful bathroom, two large medicine cabinets up above, a nice amount of cabinet space here, your GFCI outlet, a place for towels, you have, a uh, cabinet down below the sink. You have hooks for your towels. You have a vent fan in here, and you have a porcelain foot flush toilet. It's a roomy, roomy bathroom in your 28A. How about the bedroom? North, south bed, I'm going to take and unsnap this because I just want to show you right here while we're out. You do have a nice privacy door when you are back here in your north to south queen bed. I love the north to south queen bed. We know what happens when people travel. They get tired and sometimes people don't want to stay buckled in and we know that people are going to use the north south bed as they're traveling if they want to lay down. So you have the north south queen bed. The other thing that's really impressive about the bedroom back here the amount of nightstand space, you have a 12 volt outlet up here. So if you have a CPAP machine, portable one that you can plug into 12 volt, you can do that there. You have two USBs, you have a 110, you have a one drawer over here on the driver's side. You have two drawers on the camp side. You have closet space, hanging space on each side, two cabinets right up above, and it is optional to get a TV right back here. If you want to option in a TV, you can do that. Your thermostat control is back here as well. And this is your AC. 
Couple of things to talk about with your AC. One, you can either get the 13,500 BTU unit standard, or if you would like to option the 15,000 BTU unit, you can. And when you are setting your thermostat, take the ambient temperature into consideration. Never set your thermostat more than 10 to 15 degrees below the ambient temperature you have a good chance of freezing up your coils because it's going to work and work and work to keep your 28A cool. So set it in the cool of the night, set it in the morning, or start your generator, run your generator when you're going from place to place when you start your trip. That way, the other thing too is your passenger sitting here will stay nice and cool for you when you are driving down the road. They'll say, oh, I'm so hot, Dad. What are you going to eat there? I'm so hot. Nah, not if you're running the AC. This is the inside. I love the way this is set up. I love driving the 28A because it is beastly. What do you say we go for a drive? I'm going to hop up front here. We'll show you some beautiful, beautiful four winds B-roll as we are driving. Now, I am in the cloth seats. You can option in leatherette seats if you want. Now, you do have two options for your four winds. Right now, we are in the Ford E-Series chassis. This has a 7.3 liter V8, 325 horsepower, 450 pound-feet of torque. You can also get this on a Chevy chassis. That's going to be a 6.6 .6 liter V8. That has 401 horse and 464 pound-feet of torque. Now, both of them are going to have electronic stability control. You do have hill start assist. You have traction control. You have a six-speed transmission with a tow haul mode. If you want to shift manually, you can do that. What do you say we fire this beast up and put the hammer down? Let's just sit here and gun the engine like we're cool. Got a stoplight. Come on, baby. Yeah. I love that. I do want to show you, though, in the dash this year, uh, and we took on the outer tire... And the campsite, Tom and I took and we let a little air out because we have tire pressure monitoring on this, which is really great because tire pressure is so important in your motor home. And you can see exactly what tire is low as you're seeing in this video here. You also have a couple of other features up here on the dash. I'll go through rather quickly. You have two trip meters. Uh, you have, you look at your fuel economy, some driver assist functions, how many hours are on the engine. You have a voltmeter, a maintenance monitor, so you know how much oil life you have left, so you're keeping up with all of your maintenance items, uh, some display settings, so a couple of other menu items in here. You do have an emergency start button, and so what that does is that takes in the event that you would say, I don't know, leave your lights on and you would kill your chassis battery, you can jump start your uh, four winds with the emergency start button using your house batteries. You hold the button in and you turn the key. You have auto headlights, uh, your standard HVAC controls, a button for your traction control, a couple of plugs and ports here to charge your phone or to connect into this infotainment center. This is new and uh, I love the infotainment center because you can take and control some functions over here with the steering wheel pad on the right. Let's go through some of these functions here on our radio. So it's a swipe screen. You can go ahead and hit your radio. You have Bluetooth phone, Bluetooth audio, Sirius XM satellite radio. You have Android Auto. You have Apple CarPlay. You have a camera button here. If you press the camera button, that'll pull up the camera behind you. So you can see whatever you have on that 8,000 pound hitch. And we talked about the speakers above the dinette and the sofa right here, zone one and two. That's how you will control these. And then you can go into your settings. You can tweak a few things and set the time. Now, I do want to mention that this does not have uh, RV-specific navigation. That's okay. You have Android Auto. You have Apple CarPlay. You can download the RV-specific navigation app of your choice. Or you can simply try out one year for free Road Pass Pro. So you're going to get Campendium. Road Tripper is RV Village and Togo RV. What this is going to do, one, you're going to get access to that RV specific GPS navigation. It's a large social network for RVers, families, and people who love to travel like yourself. So you can take and connect with them and, hey, we're going here. Anybody stayed there? Yeah, this is great. While you're there, make sure you check out this. Um, it's actually the number one road planning trip, trip tool. So you can go ahead and plan out your road trips. Try it out for a year. It's absolutely free. Comes with your new forums. It is Road Pass. A lot of storage up here as well. And because it's a Class C, you get in and out through the front with your doors like you would in your daily driver. Let's just rev that engine a few more times because it's so cool. Love the sound of a V8. I don't care if it's a Ford. 
I don't care if it's a Chevy, there is nothing as intoxicating as a sound of gun in a V8. It's just the kid in me. And your kids can bring so much with them because the outside of this 28A is packed. Let's go around and talk about all the features we're gonna find on this 28A, and I'll meet you out front. A few things I wanna show you as we start the tour. When we were up front looking at the dash, we talked about the infotainment center and we showed you the button that can pull up the rear view camera. Now these mirrors, pretty simple, but if you want heated remote mirrors with integrated cameras, you can option that in. Then when you turn the directional on left or right, whatever is in the camera will shoot down the side of the four winds and then you can see what is to the left or right of you. As we open our door here, very, very important number to show you. Our occupant and cargo carrying capacity, 3,495 pounds. That is a lot of stuff. And this on the Ford is 29 feet, nine inches. The Chevy is just a few inches longer coming in at 30 feet, three inches. As we work our way back, it's hot, it's sunny, it's awning time. We can go ahead and put out our awning and then what we'll do is we'll bust out our camping chairs, right? And we'll set them up and then we'll, we'll have a cookout and we'll show you where we can fit all this stuff because I told you this Four Winds 28A has the most storage of any four ends in the lineup, we will show you why when we work our way back. But let's go ahead and put out that awning. Couple other buttons that I do wanna show you uh, in here, or at least talk about as this awning goes out. There's also a light for this awning up in the back, makes a nice night light. You do have a button over here that is a light for the step. You have a cargo light. So now you have a button where you can take and you can turn on the lights in all of the cargo bays with one touch, so that's a great feature to have. You do have two switches in here for your interior lights. Your battery disconnect switch, we haven't talked about that. Turn that on before you leave. Keep it on the entire trip. That fires up all the 12 volt systems in your four winds. And then over here, we do have the solar controller for our 100 watts of solar charging. That is optional, we do have it on this particular four winds. Right over here is just an access port for your fridge. You have a couple of 110s right over here, GFCI protected. You do need to have your generator on or you need to be plugged into shore power to get these to work. Two little bays I love talking about. What do you think behind this one? I'll give you a hint, it's not your exterior propane connection. This is new for 2023. This is great, I love this. It's a little, hose over here so it's just you plug it in and then you need you're going to need your water pump on or unless you're hooked into uh, city water and then you can take and you can wash off your muddy bikes or you know, wash you know wash your four winds go ahead and wash that love having this feature and it stores right in here just as easy as you took it out locks into place there's our exterior propane connection right there you can hook up your grill. You can have quite a party like you see here. You got the grill hooked up, you're grilling out, you got burgers, you got dogs. Where are you gonna store all that? You ready? Are you ready for this storage? I think you are. All right, what I love about this too is the bays have this little lock so they stay in place. You can go ahead and get in here. There's our grill. Look at that, we just had that grill, but you look at all this room, 108.8 .8 cubic feet of storage. This bay is massive. Right here, this is a table. It has its own table. You can go ahead and you can set up your table in here. A couple of other places, secret storage if you want, little compartments. It's kind of like the Millennium Falcon. You can smuggle in, uh, you can smuggle in Luke and your Wookiee if you travel with a Wookiee and there's room for a Wookiee back here, but you have a large, I mean, think of all the stuff you can store in here and it's pass-through, it's pass-through storage, right? So you can go ahead and get back through here, right? You can lift it up, you can store whatever you need down, down below in here. So just so much storage in this four winds. As we're back here, a few more things I wanna talk about. Let's lock this up. You do have a ladder to get up to the top if you wanna do some maintenance, and you do need to do maintenance, keep up with your maintenance. You do have a camera right up above that brake light. That is the camera we talked about on the infotainment center. Love having a steel bumper because things happen, right? Easier to replace a steel bumper than it is to repair the fiberglass back here. Real durable steel bumper down below. We talked about your 8,000 pound hitch. 
there is your seven pin and four pin connector. Remember, it is your gross combined weight rating, your GCWR minus your gross vehicle weight. What you have left is how much you can tow. Another access point for your storage here. Look at that, you have more smuggling bays down here, All right? Nice, it's durable, rotocast material. It's easy to clean out. Love having this much storage. And you can lock them up and we can move down and we can talk about the business end. I love the business end of our forens because everything is just laid out so convenient and easy to use. Right up here is where you're going to fill your fresh water tank, 40 gallons of fresh water. Just take and you put your hose in here and then you connect the other end of the campsite or wherever you're filling up your fresh water. When the little vent starts to trickle, that is full. You can also use this hose for your city water connection. You will just take and attach this here. Then you'll put the other end wherever you're getting your fresh water. Remember, when you are connected to city water, you do not need to turn your water pump on. Right over here, this is our tank flush. So if you're going to flush your black tank, you're going to take and use a completely different hose right here. This is where you're gonna fill up here. You have 55 gallons of fuel on the Ford, 57 on the Chevy, 57 Chevy. I think they did that on purpose. I'm just guessing, Chevy, you tricksters. Right down here, love this, couldn't be easier. That's one of the things that we talked about earlier, just how simple this 28A is to use. Everything you need right here, your black tank and your gray tank are right here. Real easy to hook up. All you have to do is take this end. This is brand new, okay? This is a brand new motor home, so don't worry about that. That water running is out as we test all of our tanks before we ship them out to make sure they are, there are no leaks. And what we do is we take and we hook that up just like that. Then we go ahead, we pull our black tank and then we pull our gray tank. You have drained your tanks just that easy. As we follow this beautiful red stripe down, well, we're following the red stripe down to a couple of outlets. Let's talk about these colors. What you're seeing here, this is called autumn red and this blue is called blue horizon. And these walls right here, I do want to talk about real quick because I'm going to mention our 12 6 and one warranty. Tying into that, the way we put these walls together here, we take the inner wall board you saw, black foam insulation, our aluminum frame, and we take the fiberglass and we have an adhesive. We put those together, we put them into a sleeve, we suck the air out, and then we vacuum bond them. We do that for the roof, we do that for the walls, we do that for the floor, and then you have your 12, six, and one warranty. 12 years on the structure, six year lamination, and a one year limited warranty on your four winds. All right, following the red stripe down to our cable connection. If you want to hook up cable at camp, you would do that right here. And then if you want to hook up your 30 amp shore power, you do that here. You have a 30 amp detachable cable. You can store this in any of the bays. I got the perfect one to show you for it as we, as we move down the row. But you just simply put that in, you twist, lock it into place, and then you run this end to the receptacle at wherever you're staying. Make sure the breaker though is off before you uh, plug it, uh, breaker off, plug it in, then turn your breaker on. And now you have 30 amps of power. This is going to be an exhaust for your furnace. Propane needs to be on for that little bay here. You might want to keep your 30 amp uh, power cord in here. Here's one of the lights we talked about. You can control them all from the switch inside or simply from here. Uh, water heater, remember six gallon, six gallon tank. Propane right here, that is going to need to be on to use your water or your furnace. So make sure you have that on. And we talked about the air conditioners, right? We talked about running your AC while you're driving with your generator. This is it right here. You can open this up, you can lock that in place. This is your own in quiet gas 4,000 watt generator. You can run this while you are driving down the road, which is great to run your ACs or anything else that you would want power to. You know, the TV perhaps. Uh, we talked about playing games or streaming. That will power everything in your motorhome. Go ahead and use it. Driver's side door here, you do have the nice steps to get in. You do have the nice large cap up front. The E450 chassis under this. Oh, this is the chrome. It's so shiny on a day like today. Nice and clean, but go ahead and get this Four Winds Dirty on your adventure. Take it 
anywhere. If you have not taken the kids camping yet and it's something you grow up, grew up with and you love, the 28A is an absolutely fantastic way to travel. It's easy to use, it's easy to drive, and it is so easy to enjoy. I appreciate you being with us today. I'm Steve Duval, and we will see you next time. If you would like to see sales prices from the only full line and fully authorized Thor Motor Coach dealership in the world, visit Motorhome Specialist at MHSRV.com or call 800 335 6054. Motorhome Specialist is the number one volume selling motorhome dealership in the world. With over $165 million in inventory to choose from, all at one central location making it easy to fly in from anywhere in the country and then drive your new dream motor coach home. You will also enjoy the premier delivery process that can only be found at MHSRV. From the extensive pre-check and make ready process to the only dealership performed and fully automated rain booth test in the industry, you'll see a world of difference at Motorhome Specialist. These additional detail and inspection processes are just a few of the countless steps taken here at Motorhome Specialist to help ensure that you not only receive a better selection and price, but also the unparalleled quality and service that you deserve to go along with it. So get busy living in an all new Thor Motor Coach from Motorhome Specialist today. Why pay more? Why settle for less?